Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober. Hi everybody, welcome to episode 136 of a Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast. My name's Daniel, this is Sophie. Say hello, Sophie. Hello, Sophie. I've realised the second I press record, I've realised I don't have the fucking Patreon list up. <laughs> so I'm going to kill me later. Just take a minute. They can wait. They can wait. They don't mind. Being on their Patreons, like, having access to, like, the lobby. <laughs> it's like being in, like, the waiting office of the yeah. doctors. Yeah, and I'm about to call their names. Yes. <laughs> You're the fucking, the most hated occupation in history, the doctor's fucking receptionist. Yeah, that's true. What is that? I mean, I don't, I know what it's about. I get why they're the most hated, but what is it about, like, why are they like that? I don't know. I've definitely met some pleasant ones, but they just, yeah, some of them are just awful. Maybe it's because you don't have to deal with them a lot, so when you do, it really stands out to you. Because it's always like a difficult situation because you're not well. But that's like, oh, okay, fair. And because it's your health, you're like, the the service should be tip top, okay? Because <laughs> what if they, I die? They should be like handling you like a little baby. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone should. Everyone should handle me like that. <laughs> I don't I, want anyone to handle me. <laughs> I don't want to be handled. <laughs> I don't need a handler, okay? Manhandled or baby handled. I don't know what that means. <laughs> me, neither. me neither. Super weird that you said it. <laughs> I forced Daniel to maneuver the camera this time so it's slightly more flattering, but then I realised that I'm dressed in black and white all over, and the couch and pillows behind me are also black and white, so I just kind of look like Jabba the Hutt or something. <laughs> What's black and white and red all over? Sophie when she's angry. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that was me being angry. I get it. I can't do it. I can't. It's not there. I'll be better prepared in the future, and I'm sorry. I owe you all loads of shit, actually. <laughs> so I'm not going to get into what I owe you. <clears throat> So anyway, this is episode 136. Cheers. Cheers. So Sophie, <laughs> it finally happened. What? What did? We got sent home to work from home on the 12th of March, 2020, right? Okay. So it's been almost three years, right? Oh shit, yeah. Coming I was thinking almost years, two. Right? It's three. Coming up on three years. I farted on a Zoom meeting and my mic was on and I didn't know it was on. No. Yep. But the mic didn't pick it up. I oh. Was, but here's how I know the mic didn't pick it up. The the meeting was being recorded because they were demoing some software and they were like, and this will be stored for training in the future. So there was a solid 20 minutes where I thought I had to wait for the meeting to finish, <laughs> wait for them to email out a copy of the recording and then watch the recording to so, find out. So you missed the last 20 minutes of the meeting, really? From sweating. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was sweat in my eyes. I couldn't see. <laughs> But it wasn't just that. It wasn't the thing was if if that if that was it and the mic had picked it up, I'd be like, "Well, it's funny. What are you gonna do?" Yeah. It was that we were forty minutes into the meeting, and I looked up and my mic was unmuted and had been the entire time. Oh, and you don't know what you've been doing. Exactly, exactly. Have I been talking to myself? Did Do I you... open a video on my phone? Did I go, you know, did someone send me a TikTok <laughs> and I opened it? <laughs> I'm like, shit. What if the whole time everyone was like, "Whose phone is that going off?" And doesn't it light up when you're? So they would have known it was you if that happened. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, so... No, that, that is really uncomfortable because you probably weren't doing anything at all, but the difference between knowing someone can hear you and not is, like, I don't know, like... you it, Like, if I... If I'm just sitting around, I might be like, ah! I'll be, like, yawning oh, oh, really loud. Oh, because you <laughs> never do that down the fucking mic on this show. Yeah, but it's it's different if I thought no one could hear me. For sure. Yeah, even just like, you know, you fucking cough or sneeze or whatever and don't comment on it because you're home alone. Mm. If that's down the mic to 15 other people while it's being recorded and you don't say anything. Yeah, it'd be like, they, they probably think, does he want us to say like, bless you or something? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did you go to mic on for this? <laughs> like I'd unmuted myself to sneeze. Yeah. Just so you guys know, I sneezed. <laughs> you were like setting up for like a six a.m. the next day. You know, I used to uh, date a girl who would get mad if I don't say bless you when people sneeze. Right? Oh my god, really? I, I don't. my family don't either, so I hate doing it. I don't. It's I think it's dumb, right? I do, but I do it out in work usually. Not many other places, but in work, out of politeness. Right. See, I. That's like a uh, superstition, right? I guess, people yeah. say bless but you. It's just like more like a. I know now tradition. it's manners, right? People say bless you, and it stems from something to do with people thinking demons are coming out of your head, right? Mm. So it was like, oh, you've been possessed. Oh, I so thought it was. Bless you. I thought it was. They were like bless you because you got the plague and you're gonna die and. It's um, some. It's but, probably one of those, or a combination of both, or you know, one of those old timey things. One of those things where people just believed insane things back then. <laughs> what like Here's religion? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. It's bad luck to say thank you when someone says bless you after you sneeze. What? Yeah. Says who? I don't know. It's a superstition. I've never heard that. Well, it's it's one of them. Well, it sounds not as like not regal. But well, not as religious as bless you, thank you. You should, if anything, say amen. Yeah, cheers, though. It's not the same thing, is it? <laughs> no. Um, so, I used to date a girl who, if I didn't say thank you, she'd be like, that's so rude. Because <laughs> she'd said bless you, and she wanted me to thank her. And then what? at what point? Bless you. When, when does it does end? Stop. Thank She's going to say you're, you're welcome. welcome. No, please, my pleasure. <laughs> Shoot me in the face. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, I see. Uh. And that's why I'm still in that relationship because I, <laughs> I, we're both in this vexed conversation about who's more polite. <laughs> I'm kidding, it was next. But yeah, I, I, I was like, well, if you care so much about superstition, then you'd know that it's actually bad luck to say thank you when somebody says bless you after you sneeze. Think about that sentence I just said and how ridiculous that is. That chain of command mm. <laughs> of fucking manners. What are we doing? Means nothing. I This reminds me of someone I had a conversation about recently where. Say, for example, if someone offers to buy a drink or you buy someone a drink and they, or like you, someone's bought you something on like a day out and you're like, oh, here's the money for that. And they say, no, don't worry about it. But you kind of, are you listening? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I listen sometimes. <laughs> okay. I've been watching a lot of Judge Judy and if ever anyone looks away from her face, she gets like mad at them. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is she staring over there? <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Funny that, that that you're deciding to live your life in the style of Judge Judy. That's very funny. No, I think it's been like... You know what? I'm going to get mad about what she gets mad about. That's my new thing. I think it's like a subliminal thing that I've like picked up on. <laughs> but but also very funny. I've, I've not... I mean, I've seen clips of the show, but I've never sat and watched an episode, so I wouldn't have known that. But that's very funny. Oh, that is hilarious. I've watched it like more than anything else right now, probably. Well, it's daytime TV and right. you work shifts, yeah, so that does make sense. Point. I'm not like... Yeah. Like there's the only daytime TV I've seen... And don't forget where you were, where you were. The only daytime TV I've seen since COVID is Steph's packed lunch because that's on at the time that I take my lunch, and that's not enough time for me to like put on Netflix. Can't be asked. Turning my PlayStation on, starting a show, all of that. So I just stick on the daytime TV that's on Channel Four, and it is the goddamn worst fucking show ever. It's so poorly designed. Did you say Steph's packed lunch? Steph's packed lunch. And is that like a segment? No. It's a That's show. That's the name of the show. Oh it's kind of like Sunday brunch, but... All right, that sounds... Te- what, wait, the making pack lunches? Nope. Oh. It's just because it's a packed show at lunchtime, I guess. Ah, oh, I hate that. Right? The show is so poorly designed that they're still social distancing because they clearly designed the set when social distancing was happening. So now the table's like nine foot long. <laughs> and so it's like, I don't even know what they're like... But we bought all these wide-angle lenses. What are we going to do? Or something. It's fu- It's so... If you haven't seen it, just look up a clip. Everything about it is so weird. There's always a guy who's like a pundit of some kind. <laughs> and he'll be sat at like... <laughs> there's like a breakfast bar that goes around the wall of the studio. And he'll be sat in the corner at the breakfast bar, like turning around to have a conversation to the camera. Because they've sat everyone apart. Mm. There's no reason to do that anymore. I mean, no. other than... Generally, people carry germs, and it'd be better if no one ever got within six feet of me. I'd love that, you know, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, people I didn't know. Like, I don't really want to. But you anyone... don't catch germs from your mates, so I know. It's true. Nah, because you're always in, you know, we're in a bubble. That's what it is. 
Anyway, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I got unreasonably mad about a show. Okay. Um. So it's kind of like, you know, what? I actually seen a TikTok that explains it better, and it was like an Irish TikTok, uh, and it was like this is what like Irish people are like, and if you're in like an Irish person's house, um, and they offer you like a biscuit or something, the polite way to do it is to like refuse it repeatedly, and they basically like force a biscuit on you. When really you both know that you want the biscuit and they want to give you it. Okay. So, but but, but there's a lot there's a lot of customs like that in other countries where yeah yeah it's yeah, just yeah. an agreed upon thing. Yeah, for sure. And people do it here with like drinks and stuff. Oh, you know, like sure. oh no, no, just, don't worry about it. I'll buy you a drink. And let me buy you. They insist on buying you a drink, and you pretend that you don't want them to do yeah. it. Like I love spending my own money, but like I I hate that because I hate like the I feel like I'm just like acting out to play every time. But some people. At the opposite, where they think they insist on doing something even though they don't want to. So they yes. think it's impolite for you to ever to accept. accept. Yeah, 100%. So how do you know which is which? Oh, absolutely. I always go back to the same thing that happened to me. The first Bowling for Soup tour that I was working, and our tour manager at the time, Timmy, I said, can I get a couple of those on stage passes for my friends? And he was like, yeah, sure thing. And he pulled two out of his bag and I went, sorry, I need three. Now, a couple, generally accepted in this country, you go, I'm just going to have a couple. It just means like a, a few. few. Right? Yeah. A few, yeah. A small few. A few. A small <laughs> and, few. <laughs> and I go, oh, sorry, I need three. And he he just like, I, I don't know if it was just like, it had been a long tour already or whatever. He just went, why do British people do that? It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, what? You're, you're and he trying was like, to hide. why don't you just say what you want? If you say what you want, I will give that to you. But don't do the thing where you say half of what you want and then you tell me later you want the other half. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, okay, that's a very true. fair point. <laughs> We're trying to seem more polite initially by only asking for like a teeny bit, but then we make it worse for ourselves by revealing, oh, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> now I've now I've tricked you into saying yes. Now I need more from you. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that happened to me work the other day. Someone asked me for like a couple of something and I just immediately was like, how many? Yes. Because I just think that's what that means here. Like two, three. They did actually mean two, but I sent three anyway. <laughs> yeah, but unless you're saying like, like just in case. oh, they're a couple or yeah, oh, yeah. a married couple. It's like saying you're going, going out for a couple of drinks. Well... <laughs> You might have three. Have you ever at minimum? Have, have you ever had a couple of drinks? Um, <laughs> yeah, for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drank Good in one. the morning. That, that will be the clip for this episode, and people will say, "Ugh, so boring making drinking a lifestyle." No, Ugh, no, no. you think you're hard because you drink and all those things that haters say to our podcast. No, do people say that? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the prospect of us having individual haters, by the way. You know, when we talk about, like, our haters as a podcast, I just think about, like, you pe- think, you people think hate us as a podcast. You think it's a rival podcast? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, people say, you know, like, oh, Daniel's all right, but I hate the girl. Oh, yeah, because, because... Uh, people have said, yeah, we've had some, we've had some comments about us recently because the clips are doing good. Now that I learned from my friend Abby how to edit things properly, um, the clips are doing good. Mm. And it's weird because I don't, there's some social networks that I'm on a lot. So I check and some that I don't. TikTok, it's like, I'll go back on after three months and it's got 200 views and it's just completely irrelevant. And then Facebook, it's like, wait, it's got 10,000 views yesterday. (laughs) It's crazy. And so when you, obviously I don't know that every view is unique, but if you, if you for a second imagine that they are, in the last three months, we've had like a hundred thousand views on Facebook and Instagram. So that's a lot of people yeah. and everyone has opinions and some people want to voice them and some don't, but we are starting to reach people who would never have seen our show before and they are sharing their opinions about things. Yeah, people who would never see it out either. Yeah, <laughs> They've just been like fucking, it's like we're like Coldplay, you know, putting that album on people's iTunes. That was you too. You are oh. so old. Oh. <laughs> but also, I are you guess, sure? Yeah, because I have an iPhone. Didn't so. Coldplay do something? Oh, they were. The, did they do that thing where they released the album for free and said like you can pay whatever you want? I'm, that was probably someone else, like Snow Patrol. That was Radio. <laughs> 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 oh, all of them four bands are the same band to me. <laughs> That's so funny that you would put Snow Patrol in that category when like the other three are 
I don't like any of those bands, but the other three, U2, Coldplay, and Radiohead, are the biggest bands that have ever existed. And, <laughs> like, the only, they're only eclipsed by the Beatles. And you're like, and Snow Patrol, who, like, what? They did that one song once. I don't know. They all seem, like, <laughs> similar. <laughs> Similar musically in that you find them and boring. Also, maybe stereophonics. <laughs> okay, stereo. Yeah, they they because they play like stadiums. Actually, when I said Snow Patrol, I didn't you meant it. stereophonics. Right. I don't know. That's how much the same they all are. Anyway, <laughs> like they all get categorized as rock. That's that's who it is. Yeah. It's everyone who's rock. Where you go, rock? What? Yeah, but it's like there's no other category for it. Yeah, soft rock. Yeah, definitely. Whiskey dick rock. <laughs> I love that, but it's too good for them. Nickelback is whiskey dick, right? Mm-hmm. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, people, you know, like, because all the videos autoplay and some of the shit that comes up on TikTok or Facebook or anything, you just think, like, why am I being subjected to viewing this? Sometimes it makes me a little bit mad. <laughs> Even but... though you could just swipe off it? Yeah. Right. That's, that's fair. Yeah, but do you remember when Facebook first started auto-playing videos many years ago and everyone hated it? Because oh, they were yeah. like, if I want to see a video, if I want to watch a video, I'll see like the, the title and decide to play it. Yeah, but... That was back in the day when we had choices. Yeah, but, you know... Now there's no consent in the, on the internet. Sometimes as social media moves and you forget how it used to be, you wouldn't go back. Like, I'm glad that videos autoplay because it moved us into a realm where you change the way that you make content. Well, I mean, I fucking didn't, but people who are good at it change the way they make content to, like, more hook you in. Snappy. And it works because something that I wouldn't have watched before, I go, oh, this is about that. Okay, I'll watch it. Yeah, okay. And I like that. Okay. Especially on TikTok or Instagram Reels or whatever where you're only doing it to watch a video. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So speaking of Nickelback, do you remember that we talked a little while ago about how I've seen Nickelback on this like press run of trying to act like they've always been in on the joke? Yes, you did mention that. I saw one the other day. It was a video of them talking about Facebook. That. You might have seen the thing that, I, that okay. I'm going to talk about then. So because the, 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 if you didn't hear that episode where we talked about it and you haven't seen this, Chad Kroger's on this press run where he's acting like they've always been in on the joke that Nickelback are bad. And he's saying things like, if you thought we were trying, then we're laughing at you. Things like that. Really embarrassing stuff that you would say when you were 15. <laughs> well, I'm rubber and you're glue. And also, it's like 20 years after everyone was saying that. <laughs> yeah, no Does one, anyone even talk about it? No one's anymore? even making the jokes anymore. <laughs> well, I saw a video of them the other day where the interviewer said like, do you guys ever... And he went, no. <laughs> And the interviewer finished the question, and it was like, do you ever get annoyed at the jokes or whatever? Right? Do you ever wonder why you're the butt of the joke? Whatever the question was. Does he have to take was. back the no? Right, no, it was whatever the question was, and he, he was like, <laughs> he turned to the rest of the band, and he was like, <laughs> you can see these questions coming a mile off. And then he turned back to the interviewer, and he said, we've always found it funny. We've always been in on it. You know, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, you know how much we don't care have you have you seen look at this graph? Right? He knows the memes. He's like got them fucking burned into his eyeballs, right? <laughs> have you seen look at this graph? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, right, look look at this graph. The guy's holding the graph. Right, look at this graph. <laughs> he goes. That's our song. If we wanted to get that taken down, we could, and we didn't. Wow. Like, oh right, you seem super chill about it, Chad. Wow. You seem really calm about this. Also, could you get that taken what? down? Yeah, from... Words on a meme. <laughs> what? That's our song. <laughs> what? Look at this. That's the only bit. Oh, wow. It's implied that that's our song. What? What so, are you mad? Like it's it's fucking insane that he's he's. The longer the press run has gone on, where he's trying, the more mad is coming out of him <laughs> as he's trying to say like, "Ah, oh, we're on the joke." You know how much we're in the joke. I didn't demand that they take that down. I didn't sue them, and that's how you know I'm a chill guy. Okay. Okay, Mister Kroger. <laughs> I can't remember what it was that I saw. It was a video of some girl that does videos. Um, <laughs> oh. with, it, I didn't know it was Nickelback at first. I, I can't really remember. And then they, they were talking about something and she said, like, look at this at the She's, end. Yeah, 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 I've seen this. And then he just, like, 
comes through with a photograph. Yeah, so it's like a it's like a viral TikTok song. Maybe. And then she says something, something, look, and then he mm. shouts, "Look at this graph! Look at this photograph! Whatever." Yeah, that see, that was like okay, nice, but yeah, but if that had been the only thing they'd done, yeah, that would be fine. And if that had been fifteen years ago, yes, when yes. that song came out, then you'd be like, "Oh, all right, okay." So that so they make because the thing is, you can make serious music that you know is chart friendly mm. and also not stand behind it that much, and that is fine. I don't care if you're like, if you're I don't know, if you're Ricky Martin and you're like, oh yeah, the song Living La Vida Loca that's not like how I feel in my life. I'm not like, those are my principles and I'll die by them. Really? <laughs> I would be so upset if he said that they weren't. I'm sorry, but he's a gay man singing about a woman. Oh really? I thought he was just singing about Living La Vida Loca. <laughs> She'll make you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain. The only reason I, 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 the only reason I said that line is because I have a tweet saved in my draft so that now I'm just going to have to tweet because <laughs> so, I'm because otherwise otherwise it's never gonna otherwise someone's gonna hear this and steal and it. steal the tweet it's not even a good tweet it says uh, oh there you go it's right there crazy that Ricky Martin ever had to come out when we should have all known that she'll make you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain with a clear <laughs> misunderstanding about what women are like <laughs> and oh <laughs> yeah I've never heard actually a man talk about dancing naked in the rain before yeah exactly. Um, so, uh, it, or a woman it, it, in real life. But yeah. anyway, go on. <laughs> yeah, or a woman outside of porn. Mm. Oh no, my shirt is so wet. <laughs> I don't know what you've been watching, but okay. I was talking about like Hollywood. You ever seen a wet t-shirt contest? In real life, no. Yeah. I saw one. What? Um, I went to a festival when I was 16. <laughs> you had to be 16 to go without a, an adult. And so it was the first thing like... Because when you turn 16, when, when we turn 16, it's not the case anymore. When we turn 16, you could buy cigarettes and you could play the lottery. They mm -hmm. were the things, they, you know, and you want to do like, on your birthday, you want to do the thing that you're legally allowed to do now, right? Yeah. But I didn't smoke and like, you know, I, I bought some scratch cards, but it's not like I had an abundance of money suddenly. <laughs> so in the summer, six or seven months after we turned 16, we went to a festival, me and my friend Laurie, and it was at NAS Festival. <clears throat> and it's a music and extreme sports festival. Sick. And Bowling for Suit were headlining for some reason. And they mm -hmm. did not fit in with the rest of the bill at all. Really? Who else were playing? Chase and Status, Ooh. Plan B, oh, Hadouken. Right, it was it did not make any sense. I don't understand what happened, but I was like, Great, so this festival costs a quarter of the price of all the other festivals in the country. <laughs> and my friend Laurie is a skater, so it was like, this is stuff. And he also liked Bone Soup. So it was like, right, this is perfect. A bunch of shit that I think is going to be cool to see, like motorbike stunts and shit. <clears throat> but stuff that I'm not like, I would never go. I, would never, I wouldn't be like, oh, 150 quid to go to an extreme sports festival, sure. But if it tie it in with a bunch of other stuff that I like, then great. Now, also, it was 2010. And Lads Mags were still a thing. Wow, I totally forgot about them for a minute. So I was just going through a box of stuff the other day when I was tidy and ready for my birthday. So not the other day, fucking ages ago. But, um, I was going through a box of stuff that was like memories from gigs. Because I am a hoarder. I keep everything. And so I don't just have a memory box like some people have. I have several memory boxes categorized by what they're about. Sure. So the gig one, one of the things I found was, I think it was a nuts mag. Or one of those, <laughs> one of those, and it was something we bought on the way to the festival because that's one of the things you were allowed to do once you were sixteen. Yeah, sure. So we bought that on the way to the festival and read it on the train because we had nothing to do. Because <laughs> like you couldn't use the internet on your phone that much back then. I mean, it, it existed, but like I remember I uploaded definitely a, not on a train. I uploaded, yeah, I uploaded a picture on Facebook and like it took the whole seven hour train journey <laughs> to upload. Um, so it, it, I flicked through it and like, oh my god. Just insane, the stuff that was in there. Just stuff that, you know, I mean, stuff that you would obviously would never see printed anymore because it was so offensive to women and fat people and ugly people. And <laughs> just all this stuff, but also just like a whole section that was like, this is a page where women write in and say things they've done that they think are slutty. <laughs> like, what the hell? And it's just like, oh, on Tuesday last, I sucked my boyfriend's dick while he ironed his shirt. Like, what the hell? What are you... That sounds so dangerous. Right? Like, did he burn your head? What the fuck? I just... 
terrible, terrible, terrible. It also on weird. Tuesday last. I don't. I, I know. I don't really think it's that. It just, just it was just funny because the idea of writing a letter to the magazine. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, to whom it may concern, <laughs> I gave my boyfriend a blowy. It's so weird. That right? is, but I mean, the, most of them were probably fake. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because all of them were clearly written by a man. Yeah, because <laughs> also, like, what woman would be buying that to read that there was a letters page? Yeah, you're right. Or her or boyfriend just like coerced, love. coerced her into it. That's what it is. Yeah. So um, did they win anything? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'll. Ch- I'll. I'll look. I'll check back in the <laughs> magazine. But probably not. Because probably, in probably not. in the, like the magazines I used to buy when I was a teenager, they were like they'd always have this like cringe page where you'd write in and say like a cringy thing that had happened to you and like right. the, the worst one would always win like i don't know 25 quid or something right which at the time and that's the, a lot and then they invented twitter and we just started giving that away for free yes why okay. um but the reason i bring up the lads mag thing is because at this festival there was a wet t-shirt contest sponsored by loaded wow and so it was all like i think loaded models in a wet t-shirt contest, which even just the idea of a wet t-shirt contest happening, an organised and models at wet that t-shirt. kind of but festival, like, like the point what? where me and my mate are sixteen and we're going, almost time for the wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we was so weird. The things because we couldn't drink. Most people there are hammered <laughs> or on drugs, right? <laughs> and me and him, he doesn't drink anyway. So me and him, uh, sober, sunburnt, you know, because we were fucking teenagers, we hadn't prepared well. Sober and sunburnt and front row at a wet t-shirt contest. It was so weird. Looking back on that now. But at the time, I was like, this is the best day of my life. It's so I'm awful. like, what? I don't even understand why you'd want it in the first place. Why we enjoyed it. Like, what did, you know, our front row for this wet t-shirt contest. And then what? I get a boner. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? Go back and sleep in a tent next to my mate. Like, what, what are we doing? Oh. wasn't that good today did it make you horny me too let's go to sleep <laughs> like what the fuck is that oh. it was so weird but you know at the time we were loving it or yeah. at least i was saying i was loving it because i thought i was supposed to maybe yeah <laughs> every time i'm gonna get cancelled for going to that now aren't I? <laughs> no you were under age of any and the models are gonna get cancelled for sure yeah. why was the age of entry 16 and then they were showing i'm shocked at that anyway well like you said they were allowed to buy basically porn by lads um, yeah but it, you know i mean i guess there were there were tits in it but like more than a wet t-shirt contest yeah for sure the wet t-shirt contest you don't and, even see I'm it s- but but then the argument would be the whole free the nipple thing like there's nothing inherently sexual about breasts right and yet well anyway. i come when i say the word breasts it's uh... weird isn't it <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> I was going to say... why is that funny? Why is that funny? There's, not, it, there's nothing extra funny about a girl saying that, and yet somehow there is. I was just going to say, I'm surprised they let 16-year-olds camp unattended. Like, I feel like that's... I don't know. But, but I, don't I, know. I had a tent when I'm I was... I'm not being a... funny, mate, but I did a Duke of Edinburgh award at school, so I can pitch a tent. What, so there was and teachers me, following you around I was the pitching, whole time? I was pitching two tents that night. Gross. I mean, <laughs> yeah, teachers. No, I don't te- mean to... teachers in the tent with us. No, no, I don't mean to like erect to the anyway. tent for you. I just mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, is that why people say pitch a tent so they don't have to say erect? No, is pitch just, a tent because it looks noises. like a tent in your pants. No, I'm talking about like an actual tent. Oh. No, that's just what it's called. You pitch the tent. Okay. Anyway. No, no, you, no one's ever said erect a tent. <laughs> You're the one who chose to say erect. You're adding erect to that phrase. Uh-oh. It wasn't a phrase invented to get away from the word erect. You've brought the word erect into it. Oh, I'm so sorry. If anyway. anything, you made it erect. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just me. That's just my life. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Just allowing kids to stay unattended in a field with loads of adults yeah but but uh, they, like you said a lot of things were 16 at the exactly time, that's the thing is is with today's lens on that does seem crazy but you could fucking smoke yeah i guess i i just i just saw um someone shared a old news report from the 70s when they were they were <laughs> they were outlawing drink driving in america 
<laughs> and they were like, what they were just doing it. Yeah, and wow. they, they were interviewing like rednecks. Well, you're not allowed to say rednecks, are you? They were interviewing. You're not allowed to say white trash, are you? What do we call those people now? Goddamn hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> they were interviewing rednecks who were like <laughs> oh god oh, the, the, that whole thing was just for me to laugh at i don't give a fuck about saying redneck i'm I gonna see. continue to say it continue oh it's racist to white people i don't care they were interviewing rednecks who were like well you know after a, it's 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 un-american after a long hard day at work that i can't get in a truck and have a beer or two <laughs> <laughs> so like again through today's lens it is so crazy that they, anyone was even mad they can't wait till they get home do they get in the truck parked have a beer or two and then drive home no they're drinking and drinking and driving it's not drinking then driving they're drinking and driving oh. they're like let's have a beer at a red light that's oh I and mean, they're mad that they can't do that but you're allowed to have like one beer or two beers and then drive afterwards i i guess it's like like dog years though, like redneck one two beers is seven or eight beers. Ah, uh, so. yeah, that makes sense. Maybe seven or fourteen, I suppose. Damn it! I wish I could redo that joke, but I can't. No, no, that that was fine. You can if you want. You can just clip it. I really could, but I'm not going to. It was fine the first time. I'm authentic. <clears throat> well. <laughs> God, every time you're talking, I think of like so many stories, and then. It, they just get like dissolved into. Yeah, like, I'm stuff. sorry. I I move on very quickly. It's because that's how my thoughts are. Yeah, I hate it. One thing, one thing I do want to talk about is, I hate that I say that before I say things. I only do that on the podcast. I never say that to you in person when we're at the pub. One thing I want to talk about. <laughs> so please... That's something that I would say though in the pub. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that conversation. How about this? That's my favorite thing you've ever said. <laughs> what do you think about this? If I was in the pub, I'd definitely be like, oh, so one thing that I was thinking of talking about yeah i would definitely say that. one thing i was considering potentially discussing post haste is <laughs> we've discussed a little bit about i can't imagine things oh my god i'm so sorry this is and, like really funny to me well i i'm sad <laughs> i've i didn't know that what i what my brain experience was wasn't the same as everyone else's yeah same, same. until recently mm -hmm. and i have seen like there's a post that kind of does the rounds every now and again about like what kind of apple do you see when you imagine an apple and it'll be like a picture of a clip art or a picture of a real apple or whatever i've never seen that one i've seen that like quite a few times but the problem is i've never <laughs> when i'm looking at that i'm looking at it so yeah it, so it's i've never been like none of them because because I'm not like, wait, let me try and imagine that again. Because I can remember seeing that picture, so then I can see that picture well, in my head. Well, thinking about it now, are you thinking of those pictures? I can remember seeing that meme, yes. Oh. But I can see it on my can phone Can you remember screen. any other apples? <laughs> I can remember seeing an apple. I know what an apple looked like last time I saw it. And I can picture... Well, where what was does, it? Like in Tesco. What? <laughs> So you can't, like, make an apple up? <laughs> no. I can't invent an apple. I can have memories. That is, and, that is so crazy. But I think I don't think this is, like, really rare. Lots of people are going to say, me too. But it's less common, I guess. But I didn't know that it was different. And so since discovering that, a lot of things in my life, I've started to be like, oh, I bet that's because of that. Mm -hmm. And you sent me a thing recently that was somebody saying, like, I think someone was saying, like, you're lying, basically. Yeah, like, they couldn't imagine up. not being able to picture an apple. Yeah, so they thought people were making it up. And then somebody in the replies had said, I can only remember things I've seen, like pages from the dictionary. <laughs> Which is, I, I can't. <clears throat> that's right. I can't I can't understand what that means because I don't I don't I, I don't have an eidetic memory I can't see every single thing I've ever seen but the way that everyone else has memories I also have memories you know but if you think of a word are you thinking what are you thinking of so like so say a word progress no no progress like I... <laughs> can you like picture like text that no. says really no, nothing happens in my brain when I think of a word. But I don't understand how you're thinking of the word then. 
It's like... Is it like a voice? No, it's like a... Is it like your brain's voice? No, I don't hear the word. Yeah, because you don't have ears inside your head. But yeah. I mean... Oh, I, I don't I, know, it's just happening. But maybe what you say is just happening is what I say. I can hear the word in my head. I guess, but I can't hear Can you it. hear it in an American accent? No. If you try. No. And this what? Is, and this is why I can't do impressions. No. Oh. I can sometimes mimic something someone just said if I right. do it immediately. I can mimic what they said, but I can't do impressions because I can't remember remember how things sound apart from music. Mm. I can remember music, and that's the only <clears throat> what I realized is when I'm listening to music, I can imagine things. Whoa, like what they're saying in the songs or just anything. Anything. What? And that's why, and and, and again, what what I'm saying is I've realized so many things about my life. I walk around and listen to music for hours. Like that, that's the thing that I do. When I have free time, I put my earphones in and I leave the house and I walk around for an hour, two hours, right? And I, I have now realized I'm doing that because that's the escape that everyone else has all the time. When they're like, let me just imagine getting revenge on this person. Or let me just <laughs> oh my God. imagine this argument I'm going to have with someone. I spend hours a day doing that. I can only do that if I'm listening to music. And now I'm like, oh, that's why I love walking around listening to music so much. It's because I can live in a different fucking world for a minute. And, and everyone else is just doing that every day, all day. They're Aww. just like, let me think about this thing. And I can't fucking do that. That's so sad. So what you asked me when you sent me that thing from Twitter is... Is this why you hate fiction books? And I've never stopped to think about it. But yes, almost definitely. That's mm. why I hate the genre of fantasy and yes, fiction books. Because be. I started to... Before I had watched much fi- much fantasy stuff... So I'd seen Star Wars when I was six. Mm. And we, b- because... Not six, it must have been even younger. Because it was before... Phantom Menace came out in 99, I think. Maybe 98. When The Phantom Menace was coming out... I watched the old Star Wars. Mm, to prepare. So that was the first thing of that ilk I'd seen, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, now you're talking like you're in a fantasy movie. Or so, movie. I, before I'd seen Harry Potter, I tried to read the first book. And I used to love reading as a kid. And I've been really thinking about this a lot lately because I used to love reading and I would read fiction all the time. Wow. And I don't know if maybe something in my brain switched off or died. And I used to be able to imagine. I don't know. Wow. Because I used to enjoy it. But maybe I just liked the words. reading because reading was like a smart person thing. And I would get praised for being how smart yeah, I Yeah, when you were so young, it's hard to know, isn't it? But I remember starting to read Harry Potter. And in the first paragraph, so in the first chapter, that's how, <laughs> that's how much I don't read anymore. I can't remember what the things are called. What are those <laughs> groups of words called? In the first chapter, maybe even on the first page, I don't remember, they were talking about they're arriving at school and the the people in the paintings are moving and talking and the staircase is moving while they're walking up it. Those things are all happening at the same time. And I just closed the book. I was just like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Closed the book. (laughs) I put it back on the bookshelf and I never read it ever again. And then when I saw Harry Potter, I was like, oh, right, that's what that was. But I still didn't want to pick up the book. I could I could read the book now and I'd be like, okay, that's that scene in the film. So I can mm-hmm. picture it. Yeah. But then when the book derailed from the film, I wouldn't have any pictures in my head. That sucks. So no, I read autobiographies if, and I learn about people's life experiences. That's what I read. You, say you've seen a film and you read like a paragraph of fan fiction about characters in a film in like a place where the film was set. I can't make them do things in my head that they didn't do in the film. Wow. I can't... Like, the example... <clears throat> I was talking about it with my mum the other day. And she was like, so if I say purple zebra, you can't... There's not a purple zebra in your head. And I'm like, no, because I've never seen one of those. Oh my god, this is so sad. And it's why I have, like... I can... I can sketch from pictures quite well. Mm. I'm not, like, amazing, because I haven't really tried to hone the skill. And I haven't yeah. tried to hone the skill... Because I have no, I can't draw from my imagination. So there's there's no benefit to me trying to be good at art because I can't produce anything. Yeah. So 
there's nobody wants to see a picture that you drew perfectly of another picture. Yeah. Nobody cares about that. So it's yeah. There's just a, there's a lot of factors in my life that kind of seem like they lead back to this, and I realized if a song has like like a la 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 bit in it, mm-hmm. when I look at that written down, I don't know how that goes. Oh. So if you were reading lyrics, but the song wasn't playing, yeah, you couldn't be if, like, if, no. If I was reading lyrics that are words, I can hear the song. But, but if it's a la la bit, you can't remember the tune. I'm just like la 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 la, because uh, that's how I read it. Because in my head, I'm like la 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 la. What about if you read like na 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 na? No, 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 no. It's all the same. There's no if there's no context. I need the words for context. If there's no context to it, nothing happens in my head when I read those words. And I I do music streams on Twitch where people can request songs and my aim is to have as many songs to have the most songs that anybody can possibly have on the requests right not that anybody can have that's dumb i mean <laughs> to have the most songs more than anybody else has on the request list right i'm up to 760 something oh my god and anyone can request any of those songs and i can pull up the lyrics and the chords and play them that's amazing but if there's a la la bit in the song i can't do that bit what if you were doing like all the small things and it was the na 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 bit. How does that bit go? Oh my god, are you joking? I can go right. So I know that the guitars are like da 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 right like that. Mm. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. And it's there, isn't it? What? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> It's like, I don't want to do it, but it's... it's... it's it, no, I, I do know that, because I know the song so well, so I know I'm going to get there. But I can't hear... I can only hear the guitar. There's no point in me doing this on screen. <laughs> this is so, so dumb. But I, I think I could get there with, with, with a song that I've heard a million times like that. I think yeah. I could get there. Because, like, it, would, it wouldn't happen to me with a Bowling Soup song. Almost no Bowling Soup song would that happen to me. But that's... It's so emblazoned in my mind. Mm. Um, But... Just yesterday, I was playing Starman by David Bowie. I've not listened to that song myself in several years, but played through the entire song, remembered how it all went. At the end, there's a la-la bit. Could not tell you how that went. Wow. It's, And I've, I, I can only assume it's linked in some way to that, to me not being able to imagine shit. Yeah, that's so strange. Because the words la-la-la don't mean anything. Mm. so when they're singing that you can't think of anything because and i think it's maybe why i don't really like pop music or i i I hate like dance and house and stuff like that because i'm like maybe it's just because it's bad like why are you listening to this like it what do you feel when you hear this like dancing i I mean not me feel that though do you like dancing no there you go but i like jumping up and down at a rock show do you feel like doing that when you hear dance music? No. Because I would have no emotional connection to that. Yeah, I got it. You're so deep. <laughs> no, I think I think it's quite the opposite. I think I have very little brain function. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. That's why I I think I think it's why I'm like weird socially. Because mm-hmm. I'm not experiencing the thing everyone else is. So I think Probably a lot of the time, I'm ang- you know, like when people stare off in space and like, oh, what are you thinking about? I'll, I might be like, I was planning my day. <laughs> you know, like I'm never like, oh, I was just thinking about what if this happened. That's not <laughs> going to happen to me. Yeah. Well. Anyway, that's that. But it really is like collapsing my universe the more I, the more i'm like the more you look into it yeah the more the more i hear other people talk about things i'm like wait what like i can't hear voices like hear people imagine people's voices in my head like i couldn't we, we me you and i were talking about this recently weren't we i can't make someone say something in my head that they've never said before like in their voice and when i read texts so you... there's no like like i read everything in the same tone so it doesn't matter who's texting me. I read everything in the same tone. And I don't hear text in people's voices. And 
so I don't even even like like Aisha. I don't hear her voice when I read a text from her, hmm. and I struggle to remember what people look like when I'm not in front of them. Wow. So I because I've always thought this. I've always got panicked imagining if a crime, if I was ever the victim of a crime, and I had to describe the person. I don't have that. Yeah, if you've only seen them once. No, but I mean like ever. I mean like I can't remember what you look like when we're not together. I can like be like wow, I can be like, right, what does their profile picture look like on Facebook right now? And I might remember that. Right. But wow. if someone said like, Oh, what does Sophie look like? I'd be like, She has like black hair. Uh, well, at least you got that right. Imagine if you had a baby. I just looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you had a baby and like you went to pick it up from the nursery, you wouldn't know which one it was. Oh, because they all look the same? Well, no, because you can't remember faces. No, but it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not like I don't recognise people. I don't have face blindness or anything. Oh. <laughs> if I, when I see you, I know it's you. Ah, uh, okay. It's just, I can't, like, bring your face to You always to said you can't draw me with your mind. <laughs> yes. That's what it is. Wow. Oh, well. Yeah, you got a disability, I guess. <laughs> that, I think you so. could never be like an actor then. But you write music on lyrics. Yeah, that music. Although is, that's completely different. Music is the only way I'm able to be creative mm. because I can write. I can write things that I think and feel. Mm. Like I can, I can make up words. Yeah. But I can't make up pictures. Okay. So. I bought. You couldn't make up a fake scenario for a song. Would it have to be about your own experience? I have a very hard time writing about things that haven't happened. Yeah. And Makes they sense. always come out, like I've tried it a lot and they always come out clunky and like a four-year-old wrote them. <laughs> like it, it's, like I've written stuff and then I'm like, why is this so childish? Like in my <laughs> head, this was such a good idea. And now I've thought of the words, it reads back like I'm like a, I'm in an English class. Uh, it's such a bad story yeah. because I'm not, imaginative in that way um what i what i will usually do is i'll write stuff i'll write something about myself and then i'll take out some facts and replace them with made up things mm. so that it's not quite as close to the bone um and so i'll i, I mean i talk about this on twitch a lot that like the songs i've written where i'll say this is a true story apart from the bits that aren't because i'll I'll leave in something that was symbolic that really happened, like um, uh, a song that I got requested yesterday, a uh, moving truck that's about... Um, moving out, splitting uh, up. About, about splitting up, kicking someone out of your house or being kicked out of the house. Four years of memories boxed up in a moving truck, which, I mean... In itself, it's kind of made up because we got a van when I moved out of my old house. But you know, like it's 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 it, it's about a real relationship. Mm -hmm. But some of the stuff in it is made up because it is funny or it rhymed well. Yeah. Like um um, I save um four years of passing out and forgetting about who I text. Did I really go home with your friend for drunken sex? That didn't happen. But later on, I say. Um, then I hear those church bells and I think of you once more. And that line is about a real church that we live near, right? Uh, so I'll do that because I'm like... Oh, that sounds like... Wedding. I can I can write all this stuff about stuff that really happened to me and then I can make up a thing. Because yeah. I'm like, that's a good joke, right? But I can't be like, let me just write about like, what if my best friend died, you know? Yeah, I hope you never so, write that. So, you know... You're just gonna have to fucking die so I can write this song. No, but like, Oof. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not very imaginative, is what it is. Mm. That's all it boils down to. That's what the last 25 minutes of me talking was about. <laughs> not very imaginative. So, <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I don't know where to go from there. I can't even imagine. <laughs> oh, that was good. I did write something in the notes, but I don't know if it's good or I can't remember what it was. Let me check. I can see stuff you've written. Some of it's not words. Were you drunk? <laughs> yes, you were. I can, oh, I can tell one. you you were. 
this was like a teacher that I had in. I don't. I was never actually in her class, but in my infant school, there was a a teacher called Miss Finnegan, and she. I feel like I've talked about this on the podcast before. I don't know why, but anyway, if I haven't, I'm going to tell it now. And if I have, here we go again. Uh, <laughs> she. That's good stuff. I don't know if it was like when the teachers were having like a meeting or to give the other teachers a break or I don't know what was going on. Sometimes we would just all go into the the hall, like the, what was it called? Like the assembly hall. Mm. That was also the P room. We also used to do like mass in there or yeah. singing hymns and whatever. The cathedimatorium. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we had another smaller one for eating. But anyway, so we would like... There would be like three different years like of kids, probably like, I don't know, how many kids is that? Like 22, 25. That's what ours was. I uh, went it was to probably a really a, small village school though. Yeah, it was probably like, I don't know, a lot of kids, a load of kids. And we'd all go into this hall with this one teacher and she would tell us these scary stories that she'd made up. Oh my god! But then she like put us. But this woman was a criminal for sure. <laughs> she put us in them as well. I do. The kids like fucking loved it. It was great. But I only really vividly remember this this fucking wild one that she told this one time, and then we never had the story time ever again. Did she put you in it? I don't remember if I was even oh, wow. in it or not. But one when, of my when you said she put people in it, and then you were like, and I only really remember one. I'm like, it was the one about you. You <laughs> cunt. Well, I remember it because one of the girls I later became friends with, she featured in it. She had, in my mind, a prominent role. But um, it was like, it was like a really elaborate story. It seemed to go on for ages. It probably was like 10 minutes. But um, it was about aliens invading. And so it was all set like around like the school and the town that we grew up and she would name people like, oh, the caretaker in the school and stuff. And we'd be like, oh my God. Like she was telling this story about these aliens invading and, um, Really, the main bit that I remember is <laughs> this girl that was in my year, uh, Amy, and uh, she opens, she, was it her or her sister? I think a sister, a younger sister, opened the microwave at home, and Amy's head was inside. Oh my god! <laughs> How old were you? We were like between like five and seven. Fuck! <laughs> Oh my god! But like all the kids were like screaming so loud, like for for like minutes. It felt it was ages that the other teacher came in <laughs> and was like, "This is ridiculous!" And she was like shouting at everyone <laughs> to calm down. And then she was calm like, down. and then she told the, I think she told Mrs. Finnegan off for like scaring everyone. She was like, "This is too much. We're not doing this anymore." And this then is like, insane. they never had it again. But yeah, I was like, I wonder if she based that on like, a film that she'd seen or something. She was just like retelling it, like not really thinking about it. But I was like, at the time, I was like, wow, this is great. But now I'm like, wow, that seems really like, fucked up. Too much. And the fact that she got in trouble off the teacher for it, like, did they not know that's what she was doing? And if they did, but they were like still iffy about it. And they were like, oh, you know what? This is too far. Did she, was she, did she beg for that? Like, was she <laughs> like, please, can I tell them scary stories? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's that's like... what. The, what lesson is that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and you, I'm maybe sorry, it was like right, if right, it was like break time and it was raining, so we couldn't go outside. Okay, maybe that would make like way that. more sense. But I didn't really like. I was not aware of anything when I was a kid. Yeah, so. if you were that young to not know this is we. <laughs> We used to call it wet play. Oh my god, yes, which is so gross now. Yeah, it is now. But I went to a fucking Roman Catholic primary school. Nobody, even the adults, wouldn't have known what that meant. <laughs> they well, didn't get onto that. Well, same, but um, yeah, that is so strange. Yeah, because I remember one time the teacher that told Mrs. Finnegan off for the scary story was um, your own wet play was uh, teaching us how to what she described as disco dancing. And she said, this is what I would do when I was younger. And it was like, you know, that kind of like, you do like this potato thing. Yeah, hot potato, the Macarena. Well, no, it wasn't even the Macarena. It seemed like way more dated, like doing, sorry, doing this like with your hands and like right. this with your, like like it was from like the 60s maybe. Okay. But she wasn't that old. She was doing the twist again. Yes. It was like she was doing the twist. And I was again. like, what is... <laughs> What a strange, like, she just, she just has to come up with shit on the spot when you're a teacher, I suppose, don't you? You just yeah. have to make it up as you're going along, really, yeah. especially at that age. Entertaining a group of kids must be difficult. Yeah. But 
you know, when I remember the breaks or lunches, lunch was the, obviously the more difficult one. When it was raining out, it'd just be like, they'd get like a bucket of felt tips out and that was it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. There you go, fucking draw something. Yeah, we had that. Although well, there was one point in infant school when if it was lunchtime, they would put like a tape on, but then it would never be enough time to finish the tape. Mm. So we would every time just watch like the first half of a film. No, I'm pretty sure our school only had one TV, so... Yeah, but wasn't it one of the things that they wheel around? Yeah, but I mean, like, if every class was in at lunch... Oh, they would put us in the hall. Oh, we we were in our, our classrooms. Mm, yeah. And then, like, they would send one dinner lady to each classroom. Right. Did you also call them dinner ladies, even though they, they, were, they were just the, like, playground attendants? Both. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I mean. We, we said dinner lady for the people who served you lunch and for... The people who watched you on the playground. Yeah, because they watched you at dinner time. Yeah. 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 We didn't know any of their names. Called them all Miss. And uh, no, I knew some of the names. And I saw one not that long ago working in Home Bargain, and I was like, "Wow, it's oh, I can't remember her name now. What did? Oh, it was Miss Crossland, who works in Home Bargain. <laughs> all right. Getting doxxed. <laughs> <on the last. laughs> but- I know. I was like, "How are you?" I felt like I I thought she was like an old lady, but I guess she wasn't that old. <laughs> yeah, everyone time. seemed old. Yeah, but now now you now you're an adult and they're like sixty, and you're like, wait, you were just the age I am now <laughs> back then. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were like fifty years old. Yeah, yeah. I thought you would retire and you were just doing this yes! for the spare time. That's what I thought, but they they must have been like their paid job. Well, yeah, but paid job, but they worked an hour a day. No, it must be more than that. Maybe they did other things as well. Maybe it was just a part-time job then. For know. for us, it was mainly mums of kids at school. Did I ever tell you about um, when I, the one time that my mum went on a school trip with us? No. Um, but you remember, you know, they used to get mums to come and like help out to like look after the kids because there was asked to be like so many adults per child well because so many of the dinner ladies at our school were mums it was usually them Just so the i never ladies. caught on to that ah. i didn't re- like they they call it like chaperone in american films don't they yeah yeah um and i think i'm i don't know how i knew this but i was saying to my mum at the time like you went on all my brother's school trips with him when he was in school like you need to come on mine as well but at that point, I think when my brother was in school, she had like an evening job, so she was available to do that. But when I was in school, she was busy. I would have hated if my mum had been on our school trips. When you were that age? Yeah, because the the kids whose parents did that, they would always like, they were always just like fucking mummy's boys. And they'd like, like, oh, well, my mum's here, so at lunch I can go and like sit on her knee and she'll give me a cuddle or whatever like oh, that's what do it i always hate that i want to be naughty <laughs> <laughs> well i was really mad because the whole time some other girl was holding my mum's hand and i was like <laughs> i want it's my mum <laughs> but i was too polite to say anything so i was just internally mad about it, isn't it weird? and then probably berated me mum when she got home <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it weird how possessive you, you are as a kid like yeah, hey yeah. That's my mum. <laughs> <laughs> like when you'd find out that your mum was your nan's daughter and you'd be like mad about it. Like, no, that's my mum actually. I didn't have that, but we lived with my grandma when I was growing up. So I already knew yeah, the family dynamic obvious. in that way. But um, I did see a TikTok video the other day where uh, it was like a baby sat with her dad and and his mum was calling them like my baby, my or baby. Something. and she was like screaming like no <laughs> yeah I this saw is that. my daddy this is my best friend my daddy <laughs> that was so cute <laughs> this is my best friend oh. that's what i feel like pets would say if they could talk you know like if you were like you know my best friend and i had a dog the dog would be like no, this is my mummy. She's my best friend. Well, yeah, and it'd probably be true. Like, if dogs could talk, you'd be like, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This thing's my best friend. Oh, yeah. I live with true. this thing every day. It's so good. Look at it. Yeah. But actually, it, I think a lot of people are like, oh, I wish I could talk to my pet. If you could talk to dogs, they'd be like, can you let me the fuck out of here? Who even are you? <laughs> That's how it be. They're like they, prisoners. On, on day one, they'd be like, get to fuck. I'm leaving. <laughs> Do you know I'm a wolf? I'm actually a wolf. Just so you know. 
Just so you know, I'm, I'm technically I'm a wolf. That's how they be all the time. Even the little ones. Yeah. The little guys even more so actually. Yeah. Like I'm a little wolf. <laughs> My brother Paul's just got a new puppy. He's got two puppies now. Oh right. And uh, what? I didn't know that. Oh really? Oh, I was gonna say if you're not seeing his pictures, but you probably just thought it was the same one. Um, oh, do they look the same? They yeah, they're the same breeds. They're the same age. I'm not an idiot. No, but if you didn't know that he got a new one, you just sort of scroll past some pictures, you wouldn't oh, yeah. notice. I do ignore stuff a lot. Yeah, so uh, I think one's like six months old, maybe a bit older, and um, the other one's only like a month or two. I don't really watch people's stories that much. I don't know. I watch like five or six stories oh, and then yeah, I immediately then like, close Instagram. This is boring, yeah. Hmm. Um, and it always shows me the same people at the start, so it's always the same people's stories I watch. Mm. And then obviously I'm feeding into it where it's like, why well, he loves these guys. <laughs> so then it still shows me the same people all the time. Oh, is that why the same person watches my story before anyone else every single time? No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, definitely not in that situation. Maybe they've got notifications on. I don't think you can. You can. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh my God, maybe they fucking do. Yeah. We, we've got to talk about this off air. This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So my brother, anyway. um, he's got two puppies now, and he's got one of those, you know, those pet cams at home. And earlier today, he posted a screenshot saying, <laughs> "Let me find the exact words because it made me laugh." So he posted a screenshot, and it was like from this pet camera in his living room. So it was a shot of his living room. There's two little dogs, sort of like they've just turned into like a, a blur on the couch, like there's movement. And he said, oh, what did he say? <laughs> the fuckers have done something. <laughs> <laughs> don't, know what, don't know what the black thing on the floor is. And there's just like <laughs> draped across the floor from the door to where they're lying. Like a really long, thin, black piece of material. Like It's impossible to tell what it is from this. But it's like this, and it goes along behind that bench. Oh my god! So they've like unravelled something, something, or like or torn, torn something, something apart. apart. It, looks, it looks like they've ripped a curtain. It's so big. Like, yeah, it's so long. That's oh. and it looks like it goes out the door. <laughs> so who knows leaves. how long it is? <laughs> it leaves the room. <laughs> yeah, and um, that is so funny. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to find out what this is. And my mum just replied, one word, snake. <laughs> Like <laughs> that is the most. That is such a mum thing. It's like to do. such an old person response. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably there's, what it is. There's something. There's something brilliant. There's something accidentally brilliant in the delivery of those kind of jokes. Because <laughs> if that was me or you, and we wanted to make a joke like that, yeah, we'd be like, "Oh my god, looks like a snake," or. Oh, a snake. Or where did that snake come from? Or something like yes. that. Yes, who put the snake there? Yeah, something. but the delivery is so dry. <laughs> snake. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's like so casual, mm. as if it's not even a joke. Yes. As if she really meant it. Snake. Yeah, that that's, like, it makes you question it, doesn't it? Yeah, like, wait, does she think this is a snake? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. But, but that's not like... A your mum thing. No. That's all of them. They're all like that. Yeah. <laughs> all mums, all people that age, they're all like that. Ha. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> it's great. You wouldn't you wouldn't even write a joke like that. No. If you tried. No. I love it. Right, this has been episode 136. Have you anything more to say, Sophie? Never. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for listening, everybody. If you want to support the show, it's patreon.com slash ahyddpod, and you can follow us everywhere at ahyddpod. And... We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober.